Now, ever since Bodak Yellow by Cardi B came out, I've had a suspicion that Cardi B has a ghostwriter. And unfortunately, my suspicions were in fact true. So a couple days ago, Cardi B released her new single titled Be Careful. And as expected, everyone was talking about it. Some people liked it and some people didn't like it very much. But the same exact day the song was released, there was a video of a person who goes by the name of Partisan Fontaine that was going all around social media. The video itself was of this guy Partisan recording himself in the studio singing the same exact song Cardi B just released which is be careful and here's the worst part the video of him singing the song is more than a year old so let me play a snippet of this reference track slash video from partisan and then I'll play a snippet of Cardi B's new song and you'll realize that this is in fact a reference track for Cardi B you keep in contact with certain ex Man, I thought you would've learned a lesson About liking pictures, not returning texts I guess it's fine, man, I get the message You still stutter after certain questions You keep in contact with certain exes so after I found out about this entire situation, I went to the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers site, aka ASCAP. Now on the site, you can basically look up writers for any specific song and artist you want. And of course, since we're talking about Cardi B, I had to look her up. Now I went to her biggest song to date, which is Bodak Yellow, and the ghostwriter Partisan, who wrote Be Careful, was also credited on Bodak Yellow. Now as you can see on the screen, his real name is Thorpe Jordan Kyle Lanier, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And then at the top we have Belle Caliz, which is Cardi B herself and that's her real name. And obviously she's also credited as a writer for Bodak Yellow. So the first thing that came to my mind when this entire situation happened was how can the guy be seen as a ghostwriter when he's clearly credited on the song? And that's a very natural thought since ghostwriters aren't really ghosts unless you're trying to purposely hide them, which Cardi unfortunately did. So back in November 2017 when the Grammy nominations just came out and Bodak Yellow was nominated, a lot of people were a little bit confused confused since they thought Cardi B wasn't credited as a writer for Bodak Yellow and she decided to fire back with this caption right here. Well, look at that, so many people try to discredit me but songwriters? Yeah, that's right, Cardi B. Basically in this IG caption she was kind of firing back at the people who were claiming she was not credited as a writer when she clearly was credited as a writer because obviously her name was on there but at the same time Partisan, the ghostwriter, his name was also on there but she didn't really address that and instead she kind of ignored ignored it and downplayed it. And another thing, she directly responded to someone on Twitter basically telling them it doesn't matter that I have a ghostwriter because you know, I'm getting paid. So an angry fan on Twitter tweeted this to Cardi B and this is what she responded with. You think I'm getting mad? LMAO, it's number one on iTunes charts, right? It's number seven on Apple Music, right? Me and Partisan, aka the ghostwriter, getting paid while we sleep and achieving shit. Why are you mad at me and why are you mad at your own life? So as far as now, now, my favorite word, those are all the cold hard facts you need to know regarding Cardi B and her ghostwriter. And let me just say that I'm not really surprised. When it comes to Cardi B as an artist, I've always seen her more as a performer than actual creator. In the nicest way possible, Cardi B is basically the server at a restaurant who gets all the credit for the food that they didn't really make. In this situation, the ghostwriter is obviously the chef behind the scenes who's making all the hit songs, but Cardi B is basically the one who's delivering the music to the customers, aka the music listeners. Now one thing is for sure and that's Cardi B's legacy as an actual rapper. That's completely gone and that doesn't exist anymore. We've always compared Cardi B and Nicki Minaj because for the longest time Nicki was the female rapper who everybody praised and knew as the quote unquote queen but clearly along the way things happened and things changed and then Bodak Yellow dropped and then Cardi B took over. Yes Cardi B is way hotter than Nicki Minaj in terms of music at least because if we're gonna talk about who's better looking then we're gonna need a full breakdown for that if you know what I mean? But anyway, of course Cardi B is way hotter and relevant than Nicki Minaj at the moment. But does that really even matter if we're now finding out that Cardi B didn't even write her own biggest hit song that practically took her to where she is at the moment? Even though I did have some suspicions for a while, I'm still kind of disappointed in the fact that it's actually true. And as bad 
and as sad as it may sound, Cardi B is really not gonna get that much backlash from this entire situation. Just for the simple fact that it's been a possibility that Cardi B maybe does have a ghostwriter. And way before this, a lot of people have been kind of getting used to the idea that she may have one. So when the truth does come out, it's not really a big deal, so to speak. But it'd be a different story if Cardi B had been around in hip hop for years upon years. A lot of people respected her as an MC and then she got a lot of credibility for the music she produced. Just think about this, if you found out today that Good Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar was ghostwritten by someone else, what exactly would you do? Now let me tell you what I would do. So no joke, I would probably just end my life by jumping off a bridge. So Good Kid Mad City is in my eyes one of the best hip hop albums that has been released within this past decade. There's no chance that Kendrick didn't write that himself, that just doesn't exist in my reality. But yeah, that's what I personally have to say about this entire Cardi B situation regarding the ghostwriter. Now, what do you personally think about this entire situation? What's your thoughts on the fact that it's now confirmed that Cardi B does have a ghostwriter and she didn't even write her biggest song which was Bodak Yellow? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this. By the way, definitely go follow me on my Twitter and follow me on my Instagram. It's on the screen right now. But anyway, let's have a discussion about Cardi B and her ghostwriter. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about bringing together people like you who enjoy music and start a discussion on different topics like this. And of course, like the video if you enjoyed it, follow me on all my social media accounts. It's on the screen and I'm out.